Hello guys, welcome to the uh, second part of the Dune 2K Plus uh, toolkit which is the tools you use to create missions and campaigns and maps and so many stuff okay so uh, in the last tutorial we talked about reinforcements which is very cool if you want to customize your mission and also to improve AI giving constant reinforcements to the AI players will make them attack of their attacks will be better and they will also defend themselves better so today I want to talk about these um, options from the left part of the editor tile set image tile set data time limit and the AI which is very important so let's start with uh, let's start in order with a tile set image so let's just open one miss file. Not prag because that's not very useful. Not for tile sets. I don't know, let's just take Harkonnen mission nine. Okay, so you see right here the tile set image which is um I the those cliffs and infantry rocks and objects on sand all those um things are related to tile set images so if you each um tile set has specific images and specific infantry rocks uh dead sandworms and those shit you see on the ground so it's really useful when you want to make your mission look okay not not just crappy but if you don't make in such a way that the tile set image from the miss file is the same as the tile set image from the map file then you have some huge graphical problems so how do you uh, how can you do it just open the map with the map editor this is not the uh, one from the toolkit but it will do the same thing so this shy this is shy alert just using it to see the tile set from I don't know I f forgot what mission I opened I think it's yep okay so Yep, seems that this is the same tile set as you can see right here. Blocks BGBS. Same right here. So this should be okay. I, these, let me show you. When I talk about tile set, I talk about these. Infantry rocks and this kind of stuff. They will look very odd and weird if it's not the same tile set. Like, and these. okay so closing this the tile set data I never changed it or had trouble with it so I think you can really ignore it <coughs> because it's not that bad and a time limit if you want in your mission to have a timer which decreases or I don't know then you need to use this and let me give you an example of how to use timers. Uh, if I remember well, this is from Ordo's Mission Six. Here is, um, and here is a starport reinforcement. The reinforcements you receive from the starport after the specific time is over, which is, which has a condition like, um, if timer greater than this. And uh, another timer with 5,000 as the average time. And you set it 2 and 3. Then the orders will receive some reinforcements for, through the starport. And I really did not know why they used coordinates because it, the reinforcements will go all the time at the starport itself, not at the coordinates on the map so 
now this is like a half an hour if I remember well and after half an hour the timer will be over and star reinforcements will begin to arrive so yeah that's how they did it so time limits are useful and you can do uh, something like defend your base for a specific amount of time and after that you are victorious or you receive massive reinforcements to destroy the enemy or even you can change diplomacy between players using time so it's quite interesting if you have some ideas in your hand okay now the probably the most important part until now is the AI Impro uh, enabling AI uh, and probably that's all for now because we can't edit AI not yet hopefully somebody will decompile Dune Dune 2000 DAT where the AI data is now first of all let's just um, yep Ordos doesn't have AI it was not activated in uh, this mission so it's a very good uh, way to show you how to do it first of all when you see a house is not activated you really have to worry about tech levels do not let zero you have to put something let's put just seven also the starting money zero will crash the game too so and the index allocations are just okay so first of all let's see we don't have any misfile anyway there is a folder containing all the misfile from the each from each um, campaign mission so I'll just put that the link to it in the description but let's say you don't have them then you should learn to use the export AI segment uh, function which is very useful so in order to export AI from another house we need to know which house has an AI and how good it is this is Harkonnen mission 9 so Atreides should have very good AI so we are just going to export Atreides AI and now it asks you for a side index to export AI from which is the index allocations you can see right here but please note if here is zero it doesn't mean that you it, oh blah, blah, blah. so if the Fremens have zero right here you know they should have four because that's the index for Fremens four it doesn't matter if there is zero you will have to need four to um, type four otherwise it will export um, the AI from a trade is not Fremens but we want uh, AI of a trade is right now so we'll just put zero and now it asks you to throw it somewhere we are just gonna throw it right into desktop okay so house of trades was exported on the desktop not Fremens just house of trades this is four <clears throat> and this is six okay now we want to give orders AI so we are just gonna import AI segment so you want to override number two which is orders and now just open the miss AI file from the desktop and cool you have you give you have given the order some kind of AI note please note is this uh, if you want to enable skirmish AI you can do it in the same way but exporting uh, the AI from the prac dot miss dot uh, m i s file which is located in the maps folder <sighs> okay so I really think we covered everything important for this part in the next tutorial I'm going to tell you the set condition and uh, the dummy conditions using these you can do jerky stuff and also I'm going to tell you about um, where they are yes messages like those the Atreides have been annihilated or how to do that because it's not that easy as you would think okay so see ya guys later and thanks for watching